everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm doing a Christmas vlog. I have a few friends coming over. I'm doing a massive Christmas dinner with all the trimmings. I hope you enjoy this. I love Christmas dinner and there's nothing more, and I know my friends are coming over are proper foodies. There's nothing more I love doing than eating loads of food with my friends and there's gonna be unlimited food. I went out yesterday and bought loads and loads and loads. I'll just show you my outfit quick. Do you like it? <laughs> And I've also got an apron as well, which I'm gonna put on. I literally spent the whole of last night prepping three bags of potatoes, four bags of carrots and parsnips, and two bags of Brussels sprouts. So I'm more than ready. Um, and I'll just show you the chicken as well. So to start the chicken, I've put onions and some ginger in there and some olive oil. I left the chicken to marinate overnight, so I've put loads of stuff inside, including a lemon, some onions, some garlic, loads of seasoning, and this is an organic chicken from MS. So I'm gonna put it all on and cover it and slow cook it. I still need to do the stuffing and make some things and also i have started to slow roast the chicken so i really hope you enjoy this video if you do as always please don't forget to like it and give it the thumbs up i really appreciate it it helps my channel a lot um and yeah i'm gonna get on with everything it's not that long till my friends come over so i need to prep everything look at my um apron i love it so i'm gonna start the stuff in now and boil the kettle and yeah and then do everything else. So what I'm doing now is I'm adding loads of seasoning to the carrots and parsnips. I'm gonna cover them and then put them in the oven so then they're gonna get soft. And then afterwards I'll put them on a bigger tray and make them more crispy. There's literally nothing worse than um, carrots and parsnips that are hard, so that is why I'm doing that. <laughs> um, yeah, and plenty of seasoning. So then they have flavour. I put loads of flavour in all my food so it tastes good. And maybe some onion granules as well. Later on I'll add some garlic, like proper garlic to it. I bought loads of garlic. So I'm doing the stuffing quickly. My mum used to make this really amazing stuffing and I wish I had time to make it. It's with rice and um, mince. It's really, really good. It's a Greek one. But this is apple, sage and onion. And I love apple stuffing. I think it's the best. You just have to add hot water to it. And then after five minutes, it all like merges together. I'm then going to add some butter to it. And then roll them into balls and put them in the oven. I think balls... Also as well, I need to sort this living room out. I know it doesn't look that bad, but I need to do the table settings. I need to make everything look really pretty, like a grotto in here for when my friends come over. So the table needs to be done. I need to sort out my sofa, put all the lights on and everything. Look what I've got for games later. It's like this reindeer thing you put on your head and then they've actually deflated. Um, but these that you throw on, I think it's actually a children's game, but... Um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> but yeah, I've got so much to do, so I'm gonna get on with it. Literally with me, I am doing about 10 things at once. So when I start cooking and then something needs to wait, like if I need to wait for something, I then start doing something else. So now I'm doing the dinner table and I'm gonna sort that out to make it look beautiful because then I can relax a bit because right now I'm like, oh, I feel like things aren't done. My friend's gonna be here in two hours now, which sounds like a long time, but the chicken's in the oven. It's almost done. Usually as well, because there's loads of things in the oven, it doesn't cook as fast. So I have to like give it extra time to cook. And obviously it hasn't got to be ready as soon as my friends get here, but I want it to be at least like almost ready. So then I don't have to be in the kitchen all the time. I like to just get everything done and then relax, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna do the table now. I bought these today from Sainsbury's. The lady actually asked me for ID. Like, I, I was like, do I look like I'm under 16? Thank you. <laughs> I don't know how to take that. But it actually has quite cute gifts in there. And I thought it goes because they're like glittery. So cute. Um, and I also bought another Christmas decoration, which is so bad. Also, check these out. These are to put in your like knife and fork. So you've got little Christmas hats for your knife and forks. How cute is that? One thing I forgot though is um, paper napkins and I had some really cool ones last year. I'm gonna have to buy some for next year because yeah, I'm gutted that I don't have any nice napkins because my ones last year were beautiful. So I decided to opt for another table cloth. Um, I felt like the other one was a bit too tacky. I looked at last year's pictures and I was like, 
no i need this one it's not ironed though that's the only thing once all the food's on the table and everything i feel like it will look a lot better than the other one so yeah i've opted in for this one i just realized i got it inside out great so everyone's knife and forks has a christmas hat how cute is that i need to make sure i get on with everything now i feel so stressed i've got an hour still but still it's not long is it <laughs> to do a whole christmas dinner so this is how they look going into the oven now and i'm gonna let them all crisp up so now i'm gonna start rolling the stuffing into balls. I've washed my hands by the way. I might do big balls then, yeah, and it's easier that way. It's supposed to make 12 balls, this stuffing mixture. And this doesn't take that long. And I've also got the Yorkshire puddings, which I need to remember. I bought some really nice ones this year. You know, the ones that rise on their own and not the ones that are already made. Cause I actually can make Yorkshire puddings, but it's so long to do so i love stuff in like i really really love it i've made nine so far so this can make 12 definitely but i think it's meant to be for more people but i think it's meant to be for people that don't like stuff in because i can eat this like all day long literally and what i normally do as well is i put these in the fridge and then it keeps the shape before you put it in the so lately butter's become my actual best friend when it comes to cooking what i always do now is i add butter to all of my potato dishes i've got two dishes there i bought some like disposable ones because i feel like it's easier so then i can throw them away afterwards and it doesn't stick to my pans and ruin them so i'm going to add butter i should add butter to the other one as well the parsnips and carrots i'm going to add some to that as well and butter with olive oil great combination and it tastes so good thank me later so i'm going to put them in the oven now um i'm going to bash the potatoes make some seasoning for the potatoes so they crisp up so the chicken is almost done i've only had it covered so it's not crispy so i'm gonna wait right to the end and then i'm gonna put it back in the oven and let it crisp up i don't know if that's the best thing to do but that's the only option i have right now one day i'll have a massive industrial oven and i can fit loads and loads of food in but right now i've got to cope with what i've got i'm gonna put the brussels sprouts on now um only because i am going to fry them in a pan with some chestnuts i've done this last year i love chestnuts i don't know if anyone else does um with a bit of garlic as well and it tastes you it makes your brussels sprouts different and a bit of parmesan as well if you're feeling like extra i bought some samolina this morning so i'm going to add a bit of samolina to the potatoes also salt pepper rosemary garlic etc so i'm going to add that all in to the potatoes to make them nice and crispy so these are the potatoes I've got all the coating on them. So definitely top up my makeup because I've just like opened the oven about 10 times and like my eyes are watering and everything. But here are the carrots and parsnips still going and I'm going to put them back in again. Um, I've tossed them around and I've done that with the potatoes as well. I'm going to freshen up now to make myself half decent. But I've practically done the table. I'm going to add some lights and stuff. And my tree, look at it. It's so pretty. It's almost done. I've just got to make sure I remember the stuffing and the Yorkshire puddings. Really good practice for when I have my future family. So then I have done the test run so many times. <laughs> so then I'll be able to make it perfect for them. So that's one good thing about stressing and everything like that. And also I love cooking for my friends and I know they appreciate it. Once we're eating and everything, it'll be worth it. So I've had to give the potatoes a rest for a little bit. So this is what's half cooked i've got the chicken back in the oven and also some other potatoes and i'm going to swap them around um my friend's going to be here at any moment now so i haven't even taken a selfie <laughs> and i still need to do the chestnuts and the brussels sprouts which are boiled now in this pan with some garlic so yeah i still need to do that yeah need to good yeah but I know once they get here, they'll amuse themselves. There's quite a few of them, so it's not as much pressure. So it'll be fine. <laughs> My friend went to me before. How many people live here? <laughs> this used to happen all the time. I'm going to have to um, which, which get some soup quick. Later on. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Oh, if one here. Oh, wow. <laughs> 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 I want to buy you one. 
Trick, but it's too complicated. Wait, I was gonna say, <laughs> what'd you do with sick bee? Take him to the hospital. I oh. <laughs> what lies in a pram and what is? Yeah, I'm gonna be in character now. So I just went like, ah. <laughs> Did you say that? She wasn't there, so didn't Oh, right. YouTuber. And the girl did a YouTube video just saying, like, oh, I just want the experience, like, game days and parties. And she's like, I don't really care about college. And so, but she, she released that video before all that came out. Let's play it. So my friends have just left. It is literally pouring down outside. <laughs> I worry about them now. My home's like a bomb's it right now. We had a good laugh. We put on like some trash TV and was just like having a proper joke and having some chats. We're probably gonna see them in a few weeks anyway, but it's really nice for them to keep hear that. It's so bad. I feel so bad them getting on the train with that weather. I didn't even, we didn't even play our game. I forgot. You may have seen a clip where we were watching something. So two of my friends that came over, they're doing a film. Well, they've done a film um, and I was involved in it as well. They were showing us a premiere of one of the films, basically. And it's really, really good. Like, it's so professional because my friend is at the NTL, I think, BAFTA school uh, for television. So yeah, he's, the quality was like real TV and I said you really should put that forward. I'm not going to say the concept in case someone copies it but it's so good, like so so good. All my lipsticks wiped off. I'll just show you the state of my house. This is the table but wait for it. My coat rack is broken now, I'm going to have to get a new one. <laughs> this though, oh my god. I'm going to do a live chat tomorrow and um, <laughs> And get on with this. Look at my chicken. I wasn't it on the chick the chicken. The chicken was an absolute shambles. Well my friends all said it was amazing and they wanted more, but I don't like it. I don't know if you're the same. I hate it when there's red in the chicken, it's disgusting. I always like the chicken to be super, super white meat because I feel like it's cooked properly. So I'd rather eat overcooked meat than undercooked, obviously, especially when it's chicken. And um but they really liked it actually and it was really juicy because I made sure it was on a slow cook so then it was all juicy, I didn't want it to be dry last year I did a turkey and it was so dry so 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 dry so god I've got a shiny head um, so yeah I just was like no I'm going to get a chicken this year and I'm normally quite good obviously at cooking but yeah I don't know what it was <laughs> it was my first time making a turkey so I'm blaming it on that I just messaged my friends as well because I said Oh, we didn't take any pictures together, which I'm really gutted about. I wish we took some pictures. They were like, we were too busy taking pictures of the food, which is so true. We just spent our whole time taking photos of the food. <laughs> we can tell what generation we're from because we always do that. I'm gutted we didn't take pictures, for God's sake. I'm really genuinely gutted about that because I feel like memories are so important and yeah, not having any photos is sad. 
But at least I videoed them all like here. At least we got some footage of them. <laughs> Why I always get everything prepared before everyone comes over because once everyone was here, I had to play it all up, but even plating up all the food because there's so much food, it's so difficult and obviously keeping it warm and everything like that. But it's been a nice day. So it's what I usually do when I hold dinner parties. I literally run around like a headless chicken, putting everything on the table. Then we had tea and we had cakes. We had double cream. I'm gonna go to the gym tomorrow because I need to like work off the food, I think, a little bit at least. And mince pies with chocolate fudge cake. I didn't even get the Baileys out, see? I wasn't thinking properly today. So I'm gonna say goodbye and I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to like it and subscribe as always. I hope you saw a lot from this video. I don't know, because I was filming in between life. So it was a bit tricky to know if I actually got some good footage. But I hope you enjoyed it all the same. I really truly hope you have an amazing Christmas and I will see you in my next video.